<laughs> my heart is just singing for those bells. <laughs> I'm no stranger to birds coming in. I've had robins and I think the swallows have got a little nest in the roof just up above there. And there was a little, some sort of um, tit in there last week, black and white. Um, but I've not had a dove sat on my window ledge before. Um, if we can self-actualize our hurts and pains and stresses and bereavements. We can find that peace that excels all thought and makes home for the dove. Yea, peace every day is not far away. It's the message is the churches need to bring that healing message forward, I think. Yeah, the singing in churches is beautiful and they serve many purposes in society and they help many people. But it's time now for that healing message to come forth. For the stones to cry out, cry out loudly. Love will conquer fear. Love is not a cortisol. Love never causes cortisol. And love asks us to avoid the causes of cortisols. Because it's the cortisols that make us sick. It's the cortisols that cause the anxieties. It's the cortisols which cause the stresses which are the main causes of death. So, to me, the Bible is the best book on healing and on love and on how to avoid stress. God bless. It is why. Jesus Christ is and will be the greatest healer of all time, always. There is no other way. It's the conscious process of how we are made, of how God has made us. Do you think he got it wrong? Do you think he got it wrong? to say that all hurt is wrong. No, never. We are wonderfully and fearfully made, but we have to conquer the fear with love. God bless. Jesus Christ is returning quickly. Heaven on earth. Peace every day, not far away, that makes home for the dove. God bless. Philippians 4.7.